we're going to be doing some stealth camping today and uh, we're excited to show you guys kind of our routine when we're staying at a Walmart. Nicolette and I have been here for about a week. This is called Hermitage or something like that, Pennsylvania. It's a really charming, nice little town. It's a campground where we get half off due to a disability pass for the federal land and national parks. But we've really enjoyed it. We got to spend maybe a week just out in nature, not stressing about medical stuff. We've had to change the wound back on our own, but besides that, no appointments. I'll put in text what the location of this place is. Nicolette's hanging out in the van while I play. And this is my workout for the day. So it's been a really relaxing week here for us in nature and it's been really nice to wind down after so many doctor's appointments all the time. We took this week and kind of like revamped everything, did some more research and I found an institute that I'm very excited to go to. One of the best hospitals in the entire world, not even just a country but the entire world. So that is where we are headed next. I'm really glad we took the week here to kind of like recharge and just kind of take moments to just like get a better idea of how I'm going to deal with my health issues and just recharge in nature and it's been really beautiful here so I'm really excited to get hopefully some answers on what I should do going forward as far as my health care and I'm just going to see where it goes we're kind of taking a chance here it's not definite but I think it's hopeful so we're going for it we're ready to go ready all right say goodbye to the view babe Bye, beautiful view. I'm gonna miss that. I think this was the best part of being here was the view. The view, the weird, very orange sun that was here. I don't and know why it was so orange. Opening our but doors like, every night and enjoying this was great. Opening this up in the morning was very refreshing too. I feel like I'm saying goodbye to a family member. <laughs> something. All right. Here, let me close this. Maybe put this down. All right, everything looks pretty secure. Down this road over here, a few days ago, we actually saw one of the biggest nests. We were driving and Nicolette mentioned like, hey, look at that. Guys, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely a big bird. You got a little white head. I know, that's what I'm wondering. You wanna go swimming? Ew. Someone left their trash on the ground, so we're gonna take care of it for them. Before we go where we're parking tonight, we found a really cool lake for us to spend time at. Right there is Nicolette. I was checking out the park to see what it's like. Let's see what Nicolette's doing. She's hanging out there. I always like being under trees, even though it brings insects and spiders. But. Eating your protein? Always eating. Always. We found a pretty cool lake to hang out at. When we're gonna be stealth camping or parking in any parking lot, whether it's a Planet Fitness, which we don't personally do, but you might, a Walmart. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, anywhere. We have to find somewhere to hang out during that day uh, that's nearby or on the way, um, if it's a longer drive, because you kinda wanna arrive at night. So that's our routine. We arrive when the sun's going down and then we have our routine and we'll show you that. So we're just gonna hang out here for a while. Front yard view today. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't swim in it, but those geese do. 
Maybe we can work on a few Etsy listings. I have some pictures. I'm kidding. Nicolette's right. We should work. So I guess. Find something to do. All right, we Not could do that. Other things to do, but we have a few crystals to list, so I think we should do that. We could do that. Sounds glorious. What do you need me to get? Uh, third one and fourth one over. Three and four. Three. Three. That should be the one that you just put up this morning. Oh, oh. oh. definitely just broke. All right. This is what I did to draw a free sample. Damn, girl. I've been busy. So you finish the pendants, and then you you get them ready for shipping. Yep, I'm just gonna put them in their little. This is my favorite one. Bag that I do. Because it has little triangles. These are the pendants Nicolette makes. I think they're gorgeous. Labradorite beads. We mine the the crystal, the main crystal, and then we add little. Well, she adds little embellishments. This is moonstone. That's labradorite, and it's gorgeous. She normally puts it up, and then I make sure the listing looks good. There's a yeah, lot. You do like the annoying parts and I upload the picture and start the listing and Brian does like the description and all the parts that I don't want to do. <laughs> Not always, but yeah. So this should be the new way I do the pendants. That way they're ready to go in their little baggies and then they're, ooh, hopefully that this seal. But every listing has to be done individually because every product of ours is unique. You know, they're all hand mined crystals. What are you doing here? Packaging up an order. Oh. This is for a special person that's been super nice to us. We actually messed her order up once. It's the first order we messed up, so we're giving her a bunch of crystals. We're always sitting in the darkness, darling. It's broad daylight. Ooh, I remember this fella. This is actually really cool because it's a bunch of little crystals. So this has a main one as a tabby, and then it has double terminated arc arcimers, technically, and then they're all connected. Nicolette's doing the listing. I work on the video for listing. These are the rest of the crystals we have to list. This one has a bunch of crystals all over it. I think Nicolette found this one. I personally love imperfect crystals like this. This one's so much cooler than you think. And I look over and I see standing on a stump. I wonder if he'll let me go up to him a little. Finally arrived at Walmart. Lett wants to cook tonight. I think we have everything, but we both want some good bread. So I'm gonna run in and grab some bread. I'll be right back, babe. I'm not dressed for this. One perk about staying at a Walmart in van life is that any food products, anything that you would need is always available there for you. So it's a convenience thing. We don't do it much. We'd rather factor into our budget a nice place to stay. Normally it's between 10 and 20 bucks or it's cheaper if we pay weekly, monthly, you know, and be in a nice area with water or trees around than a parking lot. But it is very convenient when we do stay here. So let's see what we got available sliced Italian bread garlic herb all right I've decided I'm definitely getting the garlic herb topped Italian you could probably guess what we're gonna eat tonight considering we're getting Italian bread I got one more thing to get which is butter we actually haven't had butter in a while we've just been using coconut oil because we had a bunch of that in a mason jar oh, there it is this is what Nicolette loves, the plant butter with olive oil. I actually love all butter, but we'll get this one because she likes that. All right. And let's see what it cost us today. Not much at all, $1.78, $5.21. great all right we're out of here i got the right stuff i actually did this time we're parked where we shouldn't be so we're going to try to find a spot normally it's where these trucks are 
over there. You ready to go over there? All right. So, check, make sure there's no one here. Looks like there's not. All right, we'll just pop over. There's a van, I wonder if they're van lifers. They're true stealth, if they are van lifers, but it's hard to know. All right, so we like having a tree next to us. There we go. View for the night. Not the most beautiful, but we have a tree and that matters. Despite popular belief, I do do things. Tonight, I'm gonna cook dinner from the bed. So we have our propane cooker and this is gonna be my cooktop. All right, just to show you kind of where we park, just regular parking spot, but we look for other trucks, other RVs. And normally that means we can park there stealthily without getting a knot. Some Walmarts do allow it. It's just these days, you know, there's less Walmarts allowing it. So we're just gonna kind of tuck in for the night and we hope we don't get a knock. We have never gotten a knock yet. If we do, we'll make sure to turn on the camera and uh, we're gonna start our little night routine. This is what you'll use to cook. Pasta sauce. And salt, pepper, beyond. Okay. Let's see how our fridge is right now. Nicolette is doing something. I don't know if we've done it before. These are the meatballs, beyond meatballs. They look great. So it's a little close to the bed, which I don't love, but I'm gonna be really careful. Definitely have to open some windows. So I put my little heat shield here to make it a little safer. So far it's working. I haven't burnt the whole van down. Oh, look at that. It's starting to go. Are you doing al dente? Always. You gonna try one for me in a minute? Sure. One thing you do have to do is dump out the water for me. That's fine. I'll dump it out. <laughs> Good, because I didn't want to. It's silly. A little more time. Try one. It's good. A little hard in the middle still. Just try one. It might be perfect. Dang, you're literally hungry. I think it's done. I think it's done too. See? All right, just be careful with this. Ooh. Meatballs. I never had these. I don't know if they add like breadcrumbs, hopefully. I don't know what that means, but maybe. Meatballs have a lot of bread comes in them normally. Uh. Fizzle of the meatball. Supposed to cook each side. Look at these babies. They're starting to look really good. Yummy. Oh, oh shake them around a little. Let's you do see. it, I can't. My hands are full. Look at that. They look like real meatballs for sure. Beyond Meat does that. Damn. They smell like really meatball-y. I'm excited. Whenever we tell people um, that we're gonna be staying at like, a Walmart or self camping at a Cracker Barrel or something like that, they always ask like, what is that like? Is that really weird? And to be honest, no. Like it is more ideal to be in a nature setting, but once we're here and the, like we're just in our own little home, it doesn't feel like we're at a Walmart. Yeah. It's really weird. Like I just feel at home wherever I am now. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but when we're fully charged and we can have a free parking spot, we definitely take advantage of that. And it doesn't feel weird. That's good. And there's other people doing it. I mean, they're in there living their life for sure. They have their little flares out and they probably have a nice little space. There's trucks over there living their life and 
You know, it's just normal. We're all just well, doing our like thing. It's so different, but is it really that different from the house right down the street from the Walmart or right next to the Walmart? It's not. No. It's just free to park there. Why are you hitting it? It's my like, weird way of stirring it, and I like the sound. Does it stir? Yeah. I don't like splatter. Okay. It's definitely splattering, but. And Brian's least favorite part is letting this simmer properly. So we're going to do that. I think it's already heated immediately. <laughs> it's heated. The pan's hot. But did you know? it simmer? No. Because you want to evaporate some of the water. So when you're doing like a can or like a store-bought sauce, a good way to make it taste better is to simmer it and let the water evaporate a little. You want to add thicker. some seasonings? You know how I love seasonings. Mushroom seasoning and onion. We'll use mushroom. Not that weird onion thing. No, no. So I'll use the garlic powder. Oh, that's that garlic powder? Yeah, this is garlic and this is mushroom. No. Ooh, put that in there. This is mushroom, which we're almost out of. Essential for pasta sauce, really. Rosemary thyme. Nicolette hates when I touch her face like this, but I love doing it. That's her face. You touch Nicolette's nose, her, her mouth does this. There we go. We got tons of seasoning. The sauce is incorporating the meatball. Very important. All right, and then the pasta over here is getting eaten by me. Yeah, there's not going to be any pasta left. We're going to have like meatballs and sauce, and it's all going to be gone. We can always make meatball hoagies with the leftovers. There yeah. will be no leftovers. Maybe we can go on this. Sorry, my hands are touching it, but I really don't know what else to do. You're fine. I'm not worried about it. Nicolette and I stay clean. Mm -hmm. Mostly for medical reasons. <laughs> I'm not worried about your germs, you do it. Doesn't matter. Just gonna rinse. Almost time to get the stuff Too full, that's what I'm saying. Yes, but you gotta move it. I don't mind eating no vegetarian in the van. When we go out, I eat meat. And I think that it's actually healthier not to eat meat every day for every meal. Um, I think that it makes my diet more dynamic. And it makes, when I do eat meat, which is probably once a week, you know, if we go to, through a drive through or eat out or whatever, see a friend, I, <laughs> I, eat, meat now. <laughs> I eat meat then. And it makes it makes me enjoy it more. So if I ate meat every day, every time I ate it, it didn't feel special, it didn't feel or taste even that great. Now meat tastes better for me because my family thinks that I deprive Brian. Like whenever we go visit, they're like, "Do you want a steak? Do you want a burger?" All right, so this is about the time I start closing this because I'm not Can using I see that, that much. Plate? Tell me that isn't the best little blind ever, guys. They were pretty happy about it. I cut this to size so it was like six inches too long and you can just cut them to size and it was great i really like the way that turned out and you think they move a lot while we're driving but as long as we put them up or brian put these little locky things in there yeah there is locks so i can lock the blinds to this in a little hole and it actually totally keeps it still so i don't there's a lot of people, not a lot, but there's been some people who will comment. And we're not always going to address comments, but, you know, I'm always going to stick up for my lady. I love her. I know who she is. Nicolette inspires me with who she is. And right now she's going through a hard time. So the people who say, oh, Nicolette's lazy or Nicolette, you know, makes Brian do everything. In relationships, there's always going to be times where the other person picks up the slack. And it's a whole another story for another day, but there was... A year of our relationship or longer that Nicolette picked up the slack now right now for the past three months because she's on medical bed rest and the doctor ordered her not to get out of bed not to use her chair in the van or out of it um, 
you know, I'm picking up the slack. And that is part of every relationship. If you're not willing to do that for your partner, you guys shouldn't be together. So Nicolette isn't lazy. She's doing everything she can to make sure that this doesn't hold us up for, you know, as long as it should. And quite frankly, you know, we're kind of scared. It's, it's not a simple thing that she's going through. It's not common and it's not easy. So the more that Nicolette was to disobey the doctor's orders to stay in bed, the more likely it could develop into something terrible, even life-threatening. Her doing that respects us more because, you know, it. she'll heal faster and she's doing everything she can to make sure she heals, which make her life easier, my life easier, and I'm more than happy to do anything for her during this time. So well, I appreciate that theme. And yeah. I want to say that while I'm not lazy, I am lucky to have Brian, even when I am off bed rest, who's super willing to give me mobility where I wouldn't have it before. So we're just, well, we like to help each other. That's what a partnership is. There was a couple girls who commented something like, oh, Nick, let's lazy. Brian does everything. Why would you want that? And in a healthy relationship uh, or in a partnership, you know, or if you're with your life partner, the person who loves you, they should be willing to be there for you. And it shouldn't be something that you find uncommon or ridiculous or like, oh my gosh, he's doing stuff for her. When are you gonna get up, girl? That's not how life works all the time. So if, if that's how you're viewing this situation, then I challenge you to maybe rethink how relationships should be. Because if your partner's not willing to be there for you and isn't kind of happy to do it, then, uh, you know, it's something you guys got to reevaluate because if you're ever in a situation or you have something happen, you're going to want someone who will be there for you and you're not going to really want to get too much crap for it. It's hard enough. Um, yeah. And then there's guys who are like, oh my God, you don't have women who cook for you. One guy said that and I read it in an accent because it just, I, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> his name that. is like Stefan or something, but just basically that Nicolette doesn't cook for me. First off, she does sometimes. Second, I, I don't think a woman has to take that role. I think that if you're in a house, you both should be willing to provide sustenance for yourself and the other. Um, if you, the biggest way to show love is to put food in someone's stomach. So I think that that's appropriate for you to do, whether you're a man or a girl. This is mine, Nicolette needs that's protein. Yours. No, you need protein, you that's get yours. a little more. I can't eat a super ton of this. But this is a lot of protein, and even the bread has protein. It looks good. Should we eat all the meatballs, or should we save some? You could save a couple for tomorrow. Who are we really kidding? We can save it. We're not kidding. That bench became, it's a storage. It's normally an extension to our bed, but tonight it became a stovetop. It's also becoming our dinner top and Nicolette's prep table. I love this bench. Even when I wasn't on bed breath, I would use this bench when I was cooking over there just for more counter space. So store stuff, it's a table, it's our bed extender. It's true. I mean, I don't we, even know what else. We're definitely always keeping this bench. Uh, Nicolette and I are looking for a lift and there's many different options out there, but the ones that are going to be within our price range are probably going to take up some space inside here. So we might have to redo the way this bench is or even take it out and just make it you know storage to potentially here instead of all the way out here it all depends on how a lift fits in here and that's a project we're going to be doing uh you know in the next couple of months two three months once nick let heals it. here i'll do it i just want to make sure we don't blow up here i, I got the lid okay. yep so this thing is great. So Nicolette's sister gifted us this. And we don't always use that. We could use the electric cooker, but to save battery, we just use no battery. And this was $10 for three of these. We just travel with a bunch of fuel here. I know everyone thinks we're unsafe, but we think that the safety ratings, look at this fuel. The safety ratings on a Dodge Ram Promaster is so terrible that no matter what, if we crash with the Nicolette in the back, we're kind of screwed, so, right? Yeah, we don't want to blow up and we're probably gonna fix that in the future, but that's just the way it is right now. We're not perfect. We don't want this to blow us up, so we are gonna put it underneath the van. It's just, we didn't figure out how to yet. You know, all of this was built with, I don't even know how we accomplished it. <laughs> Look at that. You buttered up my biscuits? I buttered your biscuits. I might use the juice from the wound vac to 
That's just butter gross. up my Please don't bread. Even say that. You're gonna ruin my dinner. You don't like that joke? It's really gross. There's dinner and then there's this, guys. It's really sanitary though, because it's not ever coming out of there. Ooh, there it is. Really? What? You don't think they want to see the wound vectors? No, that's gross. Well, especially not combined with eating. Ooh. Food? I want to enjoy my food. Wound vectors. This is really good. Uh, at least you're enjoying it. I Let's am. See. Gladly. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You like the food? Mm-hmm. You a little nervous about tomorrow? I'm nervous, but less I'm, nervous than when I go to other places. I have a really high I'm relieved. for this clinic. Well, the That's last right place, there. you know, I went in kind of believing that. And then... Crazy. It was a crazy letdown. Like, that doctor was... He was too busy. To I don't even, even think he gave me a second of his time. But. No. The the doctor in Texas, we're not saying yeah, we not are happy doctor. with him, but the doctor in Texas sat down with Nicolette mm -hmm. and took time to answer any questions, and he took time to actually inspect her wound properly and treat it properly. It needs to be treated every time you see a doctor. This doctor that came in walked in the room and before finishing stride was treating Nicolette's wound without even looking at it. And... He didn't do it properly. I don't have good circulation, so I don't see this thing closing. So I'm figuring we need to figure out if there's an underlying infection and deal with it if there is. If there's not, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to, you know, get to a plastic surgeon and deal with it surgically. Have him close it, and then Nicolette will be good to go in 30 days. Depending on the severity of the wound would depend on the severity of the surgery, basically. And mm -hmm. they won't know that, and I won't know that until I wake up from surgery. I'll know that then. They'll know that when they go in there. All right, it's late morning and we are at a Dunkin'. We're stopping here for some breakfast and coffee and then we're gonna go to my Cleveland appointment, which I'm really nervous for. Honestly, I'm really scared because I don't know what to expect and I really just wanna go into a place and have someone be like, like a team of people be like, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna attack this. This is what we're gonna do and seem really confident in that. And that's all I really want. A team of medical professionals that know what they're doing and know how to handle spinal cord injuries. So I've heard really good things, but I'm just really nervous to either to be let down again. I don't want to be let down again and then I'm at square one again, which would really suck because I've heard, I think Cleveland Clinic is one of the best. I have high hopes. So I'm just hoping that it goes really well. There's no better way than to start a day where you slept in late than to get some Dunkin'. I called you. I had to pick a bagel for you. Uh oh, what'd you pick? There was only really one option. Everything. I have an appointment today at two, and I've never been there before. I just want to confirm that you guys are at. Okay, good thing I called and confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicolette's gonna eat her protein-filled bagel. Well, egg and bagel. I have some hash browns here. The one thing, I do like Dunkin', but they don't, like, what is this? It's like one mouthful of hash browns is what they give you. Let's see. Roads aren't the greatest, as you can see, and it's just bumps for Nicolette, which sucks. She's back there bumping around. But we're doing our best. We're pretty close. We're getting there. We're a little early, so that way we can try to find parking. All right, baby. How do you feel? Extremely nervous. I'm nervous, too. We're headed into the hospital now. Most likely won't be able to film. We did find parking, thankfully. And, uh... 
We're nervous I'm leaving our through, home. I'm going through a feeling, a mixed emotion feelings of like wanting to know what's going on and then being afraid of knowing what's going on. That's yeah. where I'm nervous. I'm nervous about uh, finding out. I don't like being just as anxious as I am, it's, it's like hard. I don't know. It's a very weird. You guys comment right now that you know Nicolette's going to be okay and show her some support here. Stuff for her, but we're going to get through it. Fine, baby. My cushion is not on. They don't get a plastic surgery for that. Good? We're not going to film in the hospital. We're not allowed to, so. I'm going to go in now, so wish me luck and we'll update you when I get out. I look like I'm about to go on a roller coaster. You look scared a little. It'll be okay. Nicolette's officially out. The Cleveland Clinic, watch the thing. I know. No more wound back for now. This doctor seems to think that the wound back was doing nothing for me, so. It would have done something in three months. Is I'm what happy said. to hear a new opinion, one I haven't heard before, and try something new. Wait, what what's the doing. what's the best news that you got? I don't know. Oh, I can take a shower. <laughs> one I shower. Can shower. As long as I totally protect the area and I'm not getting anything into it while I'm showering, I can shower. Let's go. The first so. shower ever. We're definitely gonna do that. I don't know where we're gonna do it. Whether it's Somewhere we know or a hotel, but I think that's gonna be the cleanest way is just to get a hotel, relax, and I'll be able to take a shower. And that right. I think is gonna be really, really honestly, I'm super excited. Let's putting it away, babe. She's a baller, I knew it. I guess we don't have to worry about that too much. It's nice to not have it attached to me for the first time. time. We did it now. We got to get her chair. How's it feel not to have the wound back? Like I'm like out of jail or something. I don't know how to be People always seem to hook us up. We got supplies, people. That's one good thing. Two weeks worth of silver. Ooh wee. So that's why I wanted to be seen back in two weeks, not three, because I knew I wasn't getting three weeks of supplies. Well. You want to get out of here? Let's see it. We had to do the wound back three times a week. Now we're going to be using something different and we'll do it once or twice a day, but it's actually easier to do this than it is to do the wound back, even though we have to do it more time. Yeah, so the doctor so. said he thinks the wound back was just hindering my healing. And it makes sense because I wasn't healing. So I'm Your really- Your wound is so small, he said. Yeah, it's too small for the wound back, apparently. So this is silver dressing. And I'm gonna use this for two to three weeks and we're gonna see where that brings us. So he thinks I can close it. He said there should be improvement. If there is, we'll be good. Nicolette will be good. She'll be able to close it. Um, if there's not, then they'll reassess and figure it out. I lean towards trusting this man. You know, Nicolette and I are good read of people. In some weird way. He seemed like he, what his answers were based on research and personal experience, not just bullshit, to be honest. But you can tell the difference. So it's worth trying something new for the first time in three months. I can tell whether a doctor has seen a spinal cord injury patient or not, and I can definitely tell that he's seen spinal cord injury patients. And that's number one to me because my body is different now. And I need a doctor that knows that and understands that, so. So she can shower, that's a plus. That makes this experience all great. She can also use her chair as long as I transfer her um, for like an hour a day if she really wants to. So ultimately we're gonna try to stay off it as much as possible, but life can start to get more normal. He's in a couple fun events a couple times a week. We can. Like things that we like to do that are like not super Obviously, invasive. it's not like Nicolette has healed. So if we see bad results from this, we will stop, maybe, but maybe we're gonna that. try. And they gave her Juven, which is a protein supplement and collagen supplement that yeah, we wanted to buy but it's like $80 a pack. Locked it for the 
third time. Well, reasonably, do hotels is for coffee. That one like spelled a little. Sorry. That's okay. All right. Well, we'll relax. We got full screen TV. Which side? That side. Full. I always try to put it towards you. Oh, yeah. It's a big moment, people. Big moment. How's your first shower feel, baby? Amazing. No one could go through life without having water run on them. It's the best thing in the world.